What is going on today, guys? All right, today we're gonna do a quick little video talking about this guy right here, controller. Obviously from the new controller build a figure wave for Marvel Legends. And yeah, I mean, look, there was a couple of the figures in that wave that I only got because I wanted to finish this guy. When you look on the secondary market, when it comes to buying individual build a figure pieces, once you've, you know, paid for the, you know, the part and then paid for shipping, you're paying as much as you would just to go ahead and buy the figure, so why not? And I got a couple of figures out of it that I probably wouldn't have bought either way, but they're there in, in my collection. And I gotta be honest, I actually like this guy probably way more than I should, because let's be honest, he's just all reuse and very, very, very little paint on this guy, but honestly, I just really like him. I think this is a perfect use of reuse I mean I really do of course this is just the that Thanos build a figure not build a figure the Thanos deluxe figure we got uh, about a year or so ago I can't remember sometime last year and this is just reuse of that body with different boots different gloves and a different head and obviously molded in different colored plastic I mean that's it that's all there is to this guy and I shouldn't like it as much as I do but I really do like it I think this was a great body to use for controller. I think this makes for a fantastic controller figure. And I think they did a really good job where they could. And one of the one of the standouts on this figure is the face. I mean, if you really take a look at this face, it is very, very wonderfully sculpted. Um, not only are the lines sculpted well and the mouth and the eyes and everything else, but the paintwork on the face, which is practically the only paint on this entire figure, is done really really well I think they did a phenomenal job on this face sculpt there you know and again uh, you know boots are different gloves are different you got the little details there in the hand and the head and then that's it there is some paint on here not really shading per se where you've got some of the the lighter blue here on top of the darker blue you've got it on the legs you've got it on the chest you've got it on the arms and it's not a lot but it looks really good. Now, of course, this thing would absolutely look better if you did a wash on it, but all in all, I mean, as simple as this figure is, I think it works. Um, as far as articulation, it's exactly what you would expect from a figure of this size. You know, he does have double jointed knees, but they only go to there. Single jointed elbows, which, I mean, that that's it. <laughs> like, seriously, that that's it, okay? That's all you get out of this guy. So, you know, not a lot going on there. And, oh, look, his hand is popping off on me there. There we go. So, not a lot going on there. He does have the ab crunch and the, the waist swivel and all that kind of stuff. And his head is on a ball joint, so he gets a little bit of tilt and, and all that kind of good stuff. It's what you would expect from a figure like this. But yet the figure works. There's nothing phenomenal about it in any way, shape, or form, yet... It just it just works for me maybe maybe it doesn't for you I, I don't know but for me I like this figure so let's go ahead and throw them up with some other figures and see how this guy stacks up all right so we got some other figures here just to kind of give you a good sense of scale here of course at the back we've got the 20th anniversary Hulk which I think is a great Hulk figure up front we've got 20th anniversary Captain America and of course gotta have Iron Man in here since controller actually did start out as an Iron Man villain and then at the back there we have Thanos. Now this isn't the same Thanos that, you know, is the one that shares the same body that Deluxe Thanos. I don't have him, uh, so just not one I ever picked up. I actually like this Thanos better. I think he makes for a great modern Thanos. And as far as a classic Thanos, I have my Marvel Select. But uh, you can see there, uh, obviously Controller's head is considerably bigger and this body is a little bit wider and beefier but uh, they do stack up pretty well together as far as that's concerned. So I think all in all, this controller looks great. I think he's the perfect size for this kind of larger than life villain who uh, can be a threat to the Avengers and everybody else you want to pit him up against. Uh, I think he works well in a display and uh, yeah, I like him. All right, so this is where I would normally talk about price, but he's a build -a figure so it's really hard to determine price. I mean, because essentially in a seven-figure wave, you have to buy six of the figures to get all the pieces to put him together. And at 23 to 25 bucks a piece, that can get pretty pricey, 
but then again sometimes you can find pieces on the aftermarket for cheaper it's really hard to tell especially when you don't know if this guy's really going to be that popular long term will he be popular next week next month next year and if so what will the prices of pieces or figures or a complete figure be next week next month next year i don't know and then how do you determine if it's worth it or not again i don't know that's kind of subjective and up to you but in the end, I'm really glad I have him. Again, I, I like him way more than I should, given it's just a simple figure with almost nothing going on. But for me, it just works. So I'm really, really glad I have him. So at the very least, if you're a fan of Iron Man or just big, larger-than-life villains, he's definitely worth at least considering for your next Build-A-Figure. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and we will talk to you later.